and I want to introduce you to some folks who kindly pulled their vehicle over for us so that we could speak with them. Uh, this is Stacy and Vanessa. And as you said, Lester, the former president now posted on Truth Social describing how he was shot in his ear, grazed by a bullet in his right ear. Well, Vanessa was right there. You you both were right in front of the former president when this happened. Can you describe what you witnessed? Yes, we were um, six rows back, straight in front of him in the, at his podium. He could, we could see him really good. He was talking about his chart and he moved his head to the right to explain where they're at in the chart. And then as he moved his head to look at the chart up on the screen, that's when he got grazed in the ear. If he had not moved his head at that nick of time, it could have been a lot worse. So he moved his head just in the right moment to, to get an ear graze instead of something. Yes, yes. yes. And Lester, let me just explain to you briefly, because we were on the press risers as the former president was, was starting his speech at the rally. He was only a few minutes in. What Vanessa is referring to when she's talking about those charts, he was talking about immigration and immigration under the Biden administration. He had screens on the left and the right of him beh behind him. And he was pointing to one of those screens where he had a chart that was detailing uh, immigration rates. And he turned to point to that chart and that is when his ear was grazed and you've seen this on the video uh, but to Vanessa's point if he hadn't made that turn to show that that chart things could have been a lot different uh, Vanessa where you were when you first heard those shots ring out what went through your mind and what happened with you and the people around you at first I didn't know if they were firecrackers there were six pops it just went pop 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 and then as I was staring straight ahead I looked across and I didn't see anything. So I looked back at President Trump and that's when he went down. And then everybody, what ran through your mind that, you know, we are all in a situation that we could be very hurt and they're telling us to all get down, get down, stay down. And then um, a lot of things went through my mind. Where's my husband? Uh, what about the three people that we met today beside us? Who else could be injured? Um, you know, why did this happen at President Trump's rally? I mean, a lot of things went through my head. Are we going to be out of here safe? You know, um, and what are you, I mean, you're, you are safe, thank goodness. And I'm so glad you are. And I'm so sorry that we're meeting under these circumstances. As you sit here in your car now, trying to process all of this, what are you feeling now? I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. I'm glad that President Trump is okay. I worry about the children that were at the rally and how traumatized they are after Whitney has seen all this. The little girl that was a couple rows ahead of us, oh, she was petrified. And what's going through her mind? Is she going to be okay or is she going to have you know, nightmares or, you know, I worry about children. Um, I worry about the people that lost their loved ones today. Um, and I most certainly worry about my President Trump. Vanessa. We're, all, we're okay. I'm so glad you're okay. Vanessa, Stacy. thank you so much. And please, you deserve to go home. You deserve to get some rest now. And uh, I hope you drive safe. And, 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 and thank you so much. They've been here since 7 o'clock in the morning, a long day, and, and certainly not the day that you were that you were expecting. So thank you so much. And, and Lester, the, the sun is now setting here in Butler County as the tragedy of the day is, is just starting to dawn on all of us who are here. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.